Yo, what's up, everybody? About to get out, ready to get out my um, get a workout in for the day. Now I'm um, decided I'm gonna start taking some type of pre workout. Maybe not every day, cause uh, I heard that's not good for you. So maybe every once in a while, right? So I'm gonna do it right here on camera. I'm decided to make it myself. I'm gonna make my own pre workout routine. Uh, pre workout drink with all the uh workout supplements I would need, and then I just kind of. You know, I kind of got the recipe here, how to do it, and then I kind of just add more if I feel like it of a certain item or a certain ingredient or less of one if I feel like doing so, right? So I kind of get to have more control over that stuff, which is kind of why I wanted to go that route. Also, it seemed cheaper as well. So we'll see how it goes. If I don't like it, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, then I just buy the ones I already made. But right now, I want to try that. Also, I just got a great order from Walmart. Um, Got a bunch of these shorts and bro, for, for working out. They look pimp, they uh, feel comfortable, very stretchy, elastic, um, fresh, so you know you can work out a good sweat, they're not heavy like the basketball shorts. Basketball shorts are more uh, for casual wear, these are for like actual exercise to hit the gym and so forth, right? Got five of them, five different colors, they're all the same pattern like this, just the colors vary, some are blue with these things instead of black, they're gray, some are black with these things gray, and, and so on and so on, right? So I got five of them for $32, killer deal. Basically, what is it, like $5 a, a pair, $6 a pair. Good deal for working out. I don't need more than five. That's that's good right there. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the pre-workout uh, thing. Got you along with it, explain to you what it is I'm doing. Then I'm going to work out. Uh, I'll let you know if I feel I got extra pumps and if I felt that extra energy or not, what it did for me. Uh, now, normally what I've been doing is I'll do... For example, when I want to work on my chest, I'll do 50 sets of bench. I mean, uh, five sets of 10, meaning 50 reps of bench and then uh, for my chest. And then I'll do 50 for my back. Uh, uh, exercise I do here with, with bands and so forth, right? For the back. Then the next day, I'll do 50 curls and 50 triceps to work the front and back on. Then back to 50 chest and 50 back and, and so on and so on. So basically, I do five sets of one thing, five sets of another. And then I'm done right so that's what my normal routine is by then i'm starting to kind of feel tired I, I mean like if i force myself i could go a little longer but that's about where i'm at so today we're gonna see if i exceed that if i thought i got some extra pumps in maybe i got to 70 or 80 or we'll see i'm not gonna force myself as soon as i kind of feel really tired i'm like hey, i'm done i'm gonna do the same thing i normally do i'm not gonna be like oh i took this so i got force myself to do more just to say it worked right okay so now we will start first with eight to ten ounces of water got them right here i'm gonna throw them in my little haven't bought a actual og shake cup oh this one's not even gonna be big enough bro okay this one's barely gonna fit it exactly um i believe this is a 10 ounce cup <sighs> all right all right man it's dangerously close to filling up higher than i wanted to okay now this on most pre-workout uh, supplements, you get anywhere from three to six grams, of, from one to six grams of this. Um, me, as they say, ideally, you want to take a minimum of around eight grams just so it could even be effective. Three grams ain't going to do much for you. There's uh, 100 servings, three grams of serving. So I'm going to throw in there. I will start with one, but next time I'm going to throw more. Next time, I'm going to throw some more because I want to, maybe three servings will be nine grams. Sounds about right. Now, I love these spoons. They already measured for you. So whenever I need them for some other supplement, we know there's a three gram spoon. Okay, so we got that up in the water already. This is called citrulline mallet. L citrulline mallet. This is a two in one. What two in one means is for every two scoops of, of citrulline, you get one scoop of mallet, right? For every two grams of citrulline, is one gram of mallet. So it's a two for one. They also have a one for one. Every one gram of citrulline, one gram of mallet. Now, there's two different types of citrulline as well. L-citrulline and um, regular. You want the one that says L-citrulline and preferably with mallet, right? So one scoop of that. Okay, so the next thing you put is one scoop of this. Better alanine. Now this, you don't want to put more than one scoop. Um, what this does is it kind of gives you energy. You'll feel your hairs go up. You'll get um, kind of like goosebumps. 
like when you drink a monster drink. So yeah, this is gonna give you some energy going. For one scoop of this, the next thing, oh, and this one, the citrus alanine, what this does is gives you endurance. The other one gives you energy, this gives you endurance, right? So you could get a few extra pumps last longer. Now this last one's gonna, um, let me open it and so forth. I'll get right back to you guys. All right, this, this one has a lot, a little bit different scooper. It's a lot smaller, look, compared to the other one. This one's 1.5 grams. The other one was three grams. The other, so this stuff, I guess, is more potent. You would put less of it. This is supposed to, um, supposed to do something to your blood flow, I guess. Okay. Now they also said put a pinch of Himalayan salt and we'll also put uh, one scoop of this. this. Now you can put this in cold water with some type of Kool-Aid flavor or something, orange juice, whatever you want to throw this stuff on because all this stuff is unflavored. It has no flavor to them, right? It's recommended you throw it into a cup of coffee because a cup of coffee will have that caffeine in there for you that also gives you a little boost. I'm not much of a coffee drinker, so I'm going to throw it in some of this. This is um, caffeine itself. I'm going to throw a caffeine shot in there. It's basically like an energy drink as well. Okay, so let's put our... I should have opened all this stuff before I... Okay, so this stuff's also... You just put one... um one scoop because this is pretty potent too it's caffeine you don't want too much of it on there but what's good about this one is it's also going to give you flavor i could tell you right now i don't like the way this smells it's a mango flavored maybe i should have gone with another flavor it does kind of smell like mango but I, I just don't like the way it smells okay and a pinch of himalayan salt and we'll see how this works you could throw creatine in there before or after you know you could put in your pre-workout but i think i'm gonna throw the creatine in my um protein shake after workout I'm going to do this, uh, get a little pinch there. Now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is um, drink the pre-workout exercise. After the exercise, I usually do a, a protein shake after about 15 minutes later and then drink it. So I'm going to throw the creatine on the, on the protein shake. Uh, you could throw it in this as well. Like I said, like the explode has creatine in it. So, so, you know, that's all. All right, let's give it the taste test. Not bad. It's all right. Doesn't necessarily taste like mango though. That the, what was the? I'm pretty sure the flavor said mango. I remember it saying. I'll look for that later. But yeah, it tastes pretty good. It's like a Kool Aid. Doesn't it? Doesn't taste like mango though. So, hey, uh, you know, hopefully you guys hit that like button. Hopefully you guys hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of this content. You know, I appreciate you guys tuning in to check out my videos and so forth. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this cup. I'm gonna get some workout going. I'll record some of the exercise and then I'm gonna get back to you guys. All right, I finish up my workout. Hop in the shower real quick, like. Hop right out the shower right now. Um, I'm about to throw on, you know, I like to throw on some fragrance after I hop out the shower and so forth. Call it a night. I use some of my cheaper stuff when I hop out the shower. Don't want to wear anything too expensive, you know, save that for when I'm out. Um, so I'm going with this one. Encanto Por Home Blue by Ferragamo. It's a box. In case you are curious as how it looks. Get this for about 20 bucks at uh, eBay. I like the cap, it looks pretty cool, it's kind of like new age.
go about, you know, 10 sprays or whatever. Um, it's a nice fresh aquatic thing with some, a uh, little bit of like a pepper, peppery note in there to give it a little twist. Okay, anyways, what did I think? My first impressions. Now, when I first took it, when I used to take uh, one MR, standing for one more rep, back in like 2014, 15, that uh, pre-workout supplement used to be 45 bucks. And right when you took it, your hair was standing up, you get goosebumps, you, you get that energy surge. If you start taking it every day after a week or so, you don't feel it as much anymore. I guess it doesn't hit the same anymore. And I didn't want to double my dose. I kept it the same dose. Nowadays, when you see that one on eBay, it goes for like 15 bucks. So that tells me it's been reformulated, kind of watered down. That's why it's so much cheaper now. So I didn't even bother picking that up. Because immediately I was going to go back to what I remember, right? From what, when I last used to work out, which is 14, 14 15, 13, 14, 15. So I was like... I'm gonna go get that. When I saw the price difference, I was like, what's up with that, right? So that made me pause to pause. I was like, something's wrong here. Like, it's been reformulated. It's been watered down probably. So I just didn't bother. So uh, with this one right now, this homemade version of uh, some pre-workout, like a better version of Enro Explode, took about 30 minutes to start feeling the... When I was working out, I was like, I don't feel anything. I was working out about 30 minutes in, yeah, he's noticed I started sweating a lot more than normal. That's the pre-workout. And I uh, started getting like a tingling sensation, almost like you want to scratch yourself, right? It's not a bad thing. That means it's kicking in, it's working. Didn't hit as much as the 1MR used to back in the days where your hair just stands up and so forth. But it's like headed in that direction, right? You're feeling the energy, energy surge. That's the better line. Be better line. Anyways, so I felt it. Um, I just hopped, a hopped out the shower. We're about... An hour after I took it, I still could kind of feel it right now. Now, remember, I didn't feel it till like 20, 30 minutes in. After, let's say 20 minutes to be safe. I didn't feel it till like uh, 20 minutes after. So this is an hour after. So I've been feeling it for like 40 minutes. I did my workout about 30 minutes. Hopped in the shower another 15 minutes. Out the shower and I could still kind of feel it. So keep that in mind. Um, is this something? Is this a way I want to feel every day? I want to take it every day? Probably not. I think I'll take it maybe once or twice a week. Uh, um, you know, uh, I don't know if it's good for you to take it every day. I, I'm thinking it's fine, but I don't want to feel this way every single day. You know, it feels like you're going to get jitters and so forth, almost like if you drank too many monster drinks. So I will take this once or twice a day. I do feel it. Uh, it works up a good way. You sweat more, so that's good. You're trying to burn some calories and so forth, burn the fat. And um, as far as reps and so forth, what I went with today... I did 40 triceps, did 40 triceps, meaning four sets of 10 for the triceps. I did two sets of curls, I did 20, 20 curls, and I did 70, uh, what would you call them, Navy SEALs, push-ups, but when you pick your knee into your stomach after, uh, after every push-up, you go like that, right? So I did 70 of those, and I did some uh, jump rope. So one thing I noticed is, I got a little more energy, but I wasn't really focused on what I was doing because I usually like to do like, you know, I do 10 sets of bench, 10 sets of back, 10 sets of bench, 10 sets of back, back and forth until I do five sets of each, right? So I kind of have like a routine in mind or I do 10 sets of uh, a set of 10 of bicep, then a set of 10 of tricep, then a set of 10 and, and like that, right? I have like a goal in mind where my workout's going. And right now, one thing I noticed is uh, I didn't have that focus. Like, I was just doing push-ups and doing, like, all this different random shit, right? Like, I was all over the place. I was like, hey, let me do some push-ups. Let me do some jumping. Let me hit the jump. Let me go to the curls. Back to push-ups. And it's like it gave me a lot of energy but not focus, right? So I'm pretty sure they add something else in some of these other ones that keeps you that focus as well. I'm going to look into that. So if there's something out there, I can add that focus dose in there as well. Um, we'll try it again in a few days uh, and see if maybe I could focus better once I get used to it a little more. So uh, keep that in mind. Like maybe you're, you'll be, you know, you'll be off the rails a little bit, if you will. So all in all, um, I did get, like I said, seven, seven sets, meaning 70 push-ups, Navy SEALs or whatever you want to call them, 40 triceps, 20 biceps. So that's, I would have liked it to be set two different things. So I could have, Keep better track of the number, but it is what it is. Maybe tomorrow I'll do bench and back and see how that goes. The regular goal is 
five sets of bench, five sets of uh, back. So let's see if maybe I could over uh, do more than my regular. Maybe I do eight, maybe nine sets, right? We'll see to uh, tomorrow. I'll try it again, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, hopefully, you hit that subscribe button. I'll check you out next time.